Hi, I'm State Representative Marcus Riccelli. It's an honor to represent you, and I wanted to share a few updates from our legislative session. Last week, the House and Senate introduced our supplemental operating capital and transportation budgets. Here in Washington, we pass two-year budgets every odd-numbered year and then revise those budgets with supplemental budgets during even-numbered years. This year's supplemental budgets will bring substantial benefits to the Spokane region. It's kind of unique. We usually don't have this kind of investments, but when you couple economic forecasts that are looking up with federal dollars that are coming into our state, we've been able to do a lot. We've introduced a supplemental transportation budget that will hopefully speed up the North Spokane corridor from 18 months to two years. And that still seems like a long way out, but for a project that started before I was born, I'm really excited to try and speed that project up. We also passed our transportation package, which we're hoping to pass through the legislature and get to the governor's desk. That makes substantial investments in preservation and maintenance. It also makes investments in bus rapid transit. I was one of the negotiators on that package. We're going to invest $50 million into the vision. Why is that important? Well, it's how a great city moves, and we provide access to thousands of jobs on that corridor for folks, and we make sure that we're having a more equitable transportation system and community when people can access and get to their doctor's appointments, their jobs, et cetera. Another piece I just want to chat about was our capital budget. Our capital budget funds a lot of new infrastructure. Generally, these are one-time expenses and add value to building our community for years to come. I'm most excited about some of the investments in housing, whether that be affordable housing or rapid rehousing. I think one of the things we noticed from even a recent New York Times article that highlighted Spokane and the difficulty of finding affordable housing is that we have a real crunch here and we need to address that through policy, but also through investments. But we also know people, if we want to get them into stable housing, they need to have all the services that make them stable, like behavioral health. So one of the other things our capital budget does is I work funding a new behavioral health facility in the old library on the Northeast Community Center campus. And that is to the tune of $700,000. And finally, I've been really excited to participate in some great capital infrastructure investments. One was the purchase of the land, uh, the Waikiki Springs Nature Preserve. That's by the Little Spokane, right where the water is ripe for reintroduction of native species. I participated in a reintroduction of some salmon to the Little Spokane River, but broadly in our region, we're looking to support fish restoration efforts, and I've been working with the Spokane Tribe and others, the Upper Columbia United Tribes, and we were able to get some funding for that long-term project to bring native species of fish back to our lakes, streams, and rivers throughout our region. With that said, things are going fast. It's a short session. I think we're doing a lot of good work to move our community forward, and I am so honored to represent Spokane. And I love hearing from you, so please write and let me know what you're thinking.